Today is the start of a three day farewell to former First Lady Rosalind Carter. She died last week shortly after hospice care. Her family, friends and the public are gathering in America's Georgia for ceremonies honoring her life. ABC's Alex Prochet has more now. Americans coming together today to celebrate the life of former First Lady Rosalind Carter. Jimmy Carter, America's 39th president, led the Carter family motorcade that carried her casket, flanked by past and present members of her Secret Service security detail. Members of the public also invited to celebrate her life. Rosalind Carter was a mother of four, a mental health advocate, and the closest confidant of her husband. The Carters were married for 77 years, the longest married presidential couple. They reminisced about the secret to their successful marriage in their final television interview that aired on ABC. That was the most important thing in my life. Having Rosen say, OK, finally, and staying with me all this long has been the most wonderful thing in my life. He's pretty wonderful in my life, too. Just six months ago, Mrs. Carter announced that she had dementia. The former president had already entered home hospice care earlier this year. Rosalind Carter was known for her work on mental health issues and efforts to create equal opportunities for women. But the Carters are arguably most celebrated for what they did after leaving the White House, founding the Carter Center, which has helped to end diseases in far parts of the world. The Carter family will hold a funeral on Wednesday, where Rosalind Carter will be buried in her hometown of Plains. She was 96 years old. Alex Brechet, ABC News, Atlanta.